Good morning, Newcastle, and uh, welcome to Meet the Candidate. And um, I had uh, probably about an hour long discussion uh, with Chris Fry, he's candidate for mayor in Newcastle. Um, after talking with Chris and uh, spending quite a bit of time, uh, I wished his father well as we're good friends. I could not, and Chris could not, we could not come to an agreement on the format of the broadcast. Um, there are some definite, definite disagreements that are huge. Um, first of all, let's talk about social media. Social media, a lot of times, not all the time, but a lot of times, puts uh, claims out there that are truly false. We've seen him in the past days with uh, accusations leveled at Mark Aliska. We've seen them leveled at me. And we've seen them leveled at a large group of people that live inside this wonderful county uh, of Lords. They live in places like Neshanic and Newcastle and Union and Shenango. And um, I ask that those comments be denounced to which Chris Fry, uh, and I'm not going to put words in his mouth, but when it came to some of the questions that I had, um, I don't think Chris Fry felt too comfortable with them. And um, therefore, we could not come to an agreement. Um, and I'm not going to um, participate in what a smear campaign is. Chris Fry did send, I sent Chris Fry out a thank you after he had left to have a blessed day. Um, his father, an excellent guy. And while me and Chris Fry had um, no problem sitting down, he came in. Uh, we talked, like I said, for the better part of an hour. Uh, in a text, he thanked me for the community services I provide um, and trying to keep people abreast of what's going on. And uh, I, I believe in his heart that um, I think that he thinks he's doing what is right. and. Uh, you can't fault a person for that, and I won't. But however, the bottom line remained on questions that we had in our private time. And, and you know, that's another thing that I'm not going to do. I'm not going to go out there and talk about the private conversation that we had unless it becomes part of something somebody else wants to air and then as I said to several people as long as you're pre presenting a fair and just presentation of what actually happened I'm fine but as soon as we get and I don't want to sound like Tucker Carlson lying pomposity and groupthink and fake news, then um, I'm going to have to step up 
and say, I think that's wrong. Um, and uh, I have in the past stated what I believed was, was wrong. And I've also stated what I thought was correct. The mission of this station is not to get all caught up in all that political rhetoric. We did meet the candidate, and if you look at it, uh, we had Rodney Dam in, we had several other people in. People that personally I agreed with, people that we agreed that we didn't agree. But I felt that everybody had a right to be heard. Um, and I will continue to hold that as an importance of what has to be done on a community station. Um, that won't be our whole piece of pie. Uh, mostly what you'll be seeing on NCTV 45 is those continued um, social things going on in the county to make this a great and wonderful place to live with people you agree with politically and people that you disagree with politically. Um, and it's okay to disagree because that's how growth occurs. As long as you're willing to listen to what the other person is saying and what the other person, as long as they're listening to you, that's called a dialogue. Both sides get a chance to present the facts and then you move on. And I've also so said in many of the programs that I've aired that um, the diversity is important. All the same people sitting on the same boards can't be a good thing. What's the plan? That was a focus and see. If you, if you want me to get behind you, if you want me to say, hey, well, what's the plan? What are you thinking about doing? How are you thinking about doing it? That was another focus and see that I aired. You know, but you got to talk about other things like the Shannon Cocky playoff game. Sensational. The fact that the Canes won Friday night. Just really great. The band festival. And all the positive things we have going on right here in Newcastle, Lawrence County, and I do say Newcastle because that's our county seat. That's the center. And when you have a square, and ours is very close to being a square, our county, people usually gravitate towards the center. And then you build out. Okay. Right now, the southern portion of our city and of our county is hurt. Mahoney Town, Shenango Township. We need to attract some businesses and some things so that we have a circular growth. Not just a growth north and west. Not just a growth that says who should be able to start a business and who shouldn't based on incubator funding and other things like that. So, um, I wish everybody the best in this election and from time to time as uh, we're going through a conversion here and we've been doing some work behind the scenes 
I've invited all the candidates to come in, stop by, say hi. Even if it's having a cup of coffee and a donut, as we continue um, to air our things, we have some people that um, during the conversion, they wanted to see how our day-to-day -day stuff works so that it becomes easier. So that was an easy way to do it. Just invite everybody to stop by and say hi. And there's nothing wrong with saying hi. And I welcome anybody, like I said, that's a candidate, you want to do it, this is a good day to do it. So uh, make sure that you have a good day. Get that second cup of coffee. Newswatch will be returning at its regular times and all our normal programming as we work on catching up and all of that stuff. Have a super day. <coughs> as I uh, got to take a little swig of coffee. Have a super day and um, we look forward to speaking with you, talking with you, and um, watch out for the fake news and uh, all that that seems to circulate on uh, social media. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you again real soon.